Okay. Let's continue. Check it out. From this corner, you can see all the vehicle traffic coming in and out of this area. No wonder Bankroll hangs out here. He can keep an eye on the Johns cruising his girls. There he is. Let's go get him. Morning, Bankroll. You talking to me? I didn't know we was acquainted. Detective Benson, Detective Curtis, homicide. Come on, man. I'm trying to read the paper and these people just got my latte right. Come on back later. Relax, Bankroll. We just have a few questions for you. Wendy Crane, she was your girl, wasn't she? Who, me? Hell nah. I don't know no girl named Wendy. I think you did. But why? <sighs> we did our homework, Bankroll. All right, maybe, maybe she came to me for advice from time to time. That's all I'll say. That's all I'll say. No, I'm not. Maybe. Suspects. Maybe facts. You see everything from this coffee shop, don't you? Greatest show on earth, man. I ain't missed a night in 25 years. How about a red van? Seen Wendy get into one of those lately? Nah, nothing like that. Seen the sanitation workers van here last night. You know, New York's strongest. Maybe the cat you looking at worked for the city? I think... I think you saw the fan. I think you saw Okay. Wendy was your girl. I'm betting you watched her like a hawk. We know a red van picked her up last night. Maybe not a red van. What kind then? I seen a white van down here a couple times. Figured it was just some bridge and tunnel CPA playing that plantation game. Got a sweet tooth for some brown sugar. But it stuck out for some reason. I remembered later that I seen Angel. That's Angelica. She got picked up in that same kind of van the night she went missing. Figured if I saw it again, I'd take care of business. But he never came back. David Gondapur, Robert Moffat, Ernest Limrose. Any of those names sound familiar? Who you think I am, man? The public library? I ain't asking people for no ID. These guys would have stuck out. Not your typical John looking for a night away from Maud. They scared girls, even got physical with them. They were arrested. You'd know their names. Man, it's always them cats from the suburbs. There was this Arab looking dude down here once or twice. He had money. But I had to run him off. Oh. Arab-looking dude? Yeah, man, you know, like Lawrence of Arabia and all that. Lawrence of Arabia was English. <laughs> I know who Lawrence of Arabia is, fool. Did he drive a red van? Nah, drove an Escalade. White leather seats. Nice. Scared Angelica real good, Escalade. so we had a little conversation. Then the police showed up. Who was Angelica arrested with? <laughs> Let me please go. <laughs> uh, from last conversation, I think this one they could turn up. Then what happened? I watched it all go down. Cops roll up. A rap fool would have got off with a warning if he could have stopped making words with his mouth. A few weeks later, he comes around again. Gives me a thousand to have Angel keep a mouth shut. Ain't heard nothing about it since. Uh-huh. So he roughed up Angelica, and you took a bribe to keep it quiet. Nice. Don't go on any vacations, Bankroll. We may need the pleasure of your company again. I'm not a big fan of racial profiling, but based on the physical description, sounds like we should talk to David Gondapur. Lieutenant, how can I help you? We have a potential suspect in the case, but he's... Let's just say we don't want to scare him off with our gritty urban vibe. You want to use the DA's office? 
Leather chairs and expensive books. We'll get a better interview if he thinks we're treating him like a witness instead of a suspect. No problem. I'll set it up. I'll set it up. Mike. Abby. Good to uh, see you again. Likewise. Likewise. Thank you for coming in, Mr. Gandapur. May I ask why I'm here, Miss Carmichael? We're following up on some leads in regards to the Massapequa Mangler case. The Massapequa Mangler? I'm afraid I'm not familiar. Do I need my solicitor? That's entirely within your rights, Mr. Gandapur. But you're not a suspect. We just want to ask you a few questions. Ah, which one? Description, page one, music. I think this one works. You live in Brookville, correct? Gold Coast of Long Island, not far from Massapequa. I also have an apartment on the Upper East Side and a home in Pelican Bay, Florida. Ah, sure Do you gone. water ski, Miss Carmichael? I'm really not a boat person. Thanks. <laughs> Mr. Gondapur, we have an eyewitness who saw someone matching your description with Angelica Moore. My description? A man of Middle Eastern descent. About your height and build, similar vehicle. I am no more Middle Eastern than Manhattan is Midwest America. I am Pashtun. My people hail from Pakistan and Afghanistan, Southeast Asia. I apologize. Perhaps one of your male colleagues should finish conducting the interview for you. They may have a firmer grasp of geography. Get up and scare him a little more. I think I should not. We should not. And Guna said she didn't want to scare him off. It's good. Uh, hedge fund, I think? So you're a hedge fund manager, huh? Sounds stressful. The purpose of a hedge fund is to negate risk so as to offset losses, oh, Miss Benson. Shit. I leave the day-to-day -day stress of the market to day traders and money dealers. Still, with this economy, it's got to put a lot of pressure on you to perform. I play a lot of racquetball. Ah, yes. I'm right. Have you ever been to West 141st Street in Harlem? Harlem? Whatever would I go to Harlem for? That was the red herring. Sorry. But why? The pink story. Uh -huh. And the OS report. Ah, yes, OS report. He was arrested. Mr. Gondapur, you were arrested for assaulting a prostitute on West 141st Street less than a year ago. Surely you remember. I, yes, of course. I, I did not realize that was in Harlem. It, surely you must know then that the charges were dropped. The woman you were accused of assaulting, Angelica Moore, was murdered not long after your arrest. She is believed to be the Mangler's first victim. I am very sorry to hear, but um, my arrest was a misunderstanding. I was lost. I asked her for directions. She volunteered to show me how to find the George Washington Bridge for ten dollars, I believe. I naively let her into my car where she threatened to blackmail me with some story of being attacked. The poor girl, I, I wish I could have helped her somehow. You own a white 2011 Cadillac Escalade, correct? Yes, as do a great many other people on Wall Street. Zero percent financing comes in very handy around bonus time. Story. How about a van? Those ever come in handy? Certainly not. I could hardly take investors golfing in something like that. That's why I have the Escalade. Again, we appreciate your time, Mr. Gandapur. Feel free to call my office should you wish another appointment. Good day. Good day. Oh, do you think he's our guy? I don't know. He was too slick. Too prepared. Like he knew this would happen. Well then, the pressure's on. Keep an eye on him. See if he makes a mistake. Sorry, red herring found.
Forensics? They didn't find much, but the burlap fibers they found on our Vic contain traces of something called atrazine. It's a pesticide. New York put it on the restricted list last year. Only licensed professionals can buy it. Pest control, farmers, landscapers. Detective Curtis. Benson, you remember the Mickey Trevino case? Yeah, that was Cormac's collar. The gun Trevino was using, he claimed to have found it hidden in the basement of his apartment building. Cormac was able to confirm. Here's a list of residents from 1998 onwards. Maybe you can do something with it. Got it. We'll meet you there. Logan tracked down that sex offender who violated his parole. His name is Patty Jackson. Get this. He's working a landscaping job in Sugar Hill, two blocks from where our Vic was found. Your case just got a whole lot more interesting. Keep me posted. Keep me posted. Uh-huh. Patty Jackson, you're under arrest. For what? For what? You're in violation, Patty. Nah, nah, me and my PO, we got it all worked out. My uh, probation transfer got messed up, that's all. Well, there's our rust color. The van's got red priming paint all over it. I'll keep an eye on him while you search the van. Know what you're looking for? The fibers found on the victim were burlap. And we know the mangler likes to use zip ties and duct tape to bind his victims. We found some crystal meth on Wendy. She had a lock of hair taken and she had been cut. I'm thinking the killer used a knife to scare her and then he used it to cut a lock of her hair when he was finished. There should be some blood in the van. Some blood in the van, okay. Last pain, zip ties, burlap sack, duct tape, crystal meth. Oh. So, ah, what's what? Hey, 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 hey. Zip ties could be used in his line of work. We'll see if they're the same type as the ones found on the mangler's other victims. Ah, I think this one, or maybe this one. Pesticide. Maybe this one? Burlap sacks of atrazine. Hope you got your certified applicator license for that, Patty. That's a heck of a fine otherwise. Where? Oh! I got some blood here. Word to the wise, Patty. You kill a girl in your van, you should worry about cleaning the inside, not painting the outside. That's mine. I, uh, I cut myself on a hedge trimmer. Hmm? Are you sure? Okay. Uh, ah, okay. Duct tape. We'll see if the end piece matches up with any of the pieces found on Wendy. This is interesting. You wear a lot of jewelry, Patty? I made that. I sell them at flea markets and stuff. It's not a restricted item. Okay. Whoa, looks like crystal meth. You trying to lose weight, Patty? That ain't mine. Are you sure? All right, Patty, I've seen enough. You're coming downtown. You don't need to do that. I'll report on Monday, I promise. Save it for the judge. Save it for the judge. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> okay, I think that's all for now. Thank you for watching and see you later. I think this time we will investigate Paddy Jackson.